Renault Scenic might be the undisputed king of compact MPVs, but that doesn't mean it can rest on its laurels. Quite the reverse. With competition from SUVs and crossovers creeping up on its market share, Renault need to remain at the cutting edge of design appeal. And that's exactly what they've done with the 2012 Grand Scenic collection. We went to the south of France to test one of the new models. In order to keep its position as market leader, the Grand Scenic boasts a more modern design, a new and more economical range of engines, and top quality technological features. Of course, it achieves all this without compromising on the space and flexibility we've come to expect from France's number one MPV. To ensure it stands out from the competition, Renault's designers have moved away from the Grand Scenic's purely family-orientated image, with a new focus on the joy of driving whether with family, friends, or like me, by yourself. The result is a design with stronger character. The front section of the car, including the headlights, wheel arch panels, bonnet, bumper, and windscreen pillars, has been redesigned, and nothing has been neglected. Design enthusiasts will note that whereas the redevelopment of the Scenic has a sporty focus, that of the Grand Scenic, with its horizontal front section, is more status-driven. One other point to note, is that the Grand Scenic, as its name suggests, is larger than the Scenic, 4.57 metres long, compared with 4.36 metres, and of course, with a more spacious interior. Renault hasn't changed it a great deal, far from it. And this is a good thing. Grand Scenic owners aren't in for much of a shock from the 2012 collection, even if the designers have made a few careful adjustments. The layout and brightness of the dashboard display, for example, has been rethought, with new high-tech electronic features, as has the seating, with new fabric being used. It's worth noting that USB and Bluetooth streaming connections now come as standard in even the most basic models. And it goes without saying that the 2012 Grand Scenic collection has left the car's incredible flexibility unchanged, with the seven-seat model offering both a wide variety of interior layouts and a wealth of storage space. As mentioned earlier, the Grand Scenic also stands out because of its road handling, the absolute joy of driving that it instills. This is immediately apparent in our test model, in the 130 horsepower 1.6 DCI stop and start engine's stunning balance between smoothness and dynamism. This engine replaces the earlier 1.9 version and surpasses it in all areas, starting with soundproofing. It's simple, really. When you fire it up, it's hard to imagine that you're behind the wheel of a diesel. Powerful and with good acceleration, the new engine is also economical with, brace yourself, an average fuel consumption level of just 4.4 litres per 100 kilometres, a record for the compact MPV class. As regards handling, the Grand Scenic, despite its size, feels as though it's glued to the road with only very light body roll. Add precise steering and robust braking to the mix, and you're left with a car that's as comfortable as it is enjoyable to drive. As always, Renault has paid attention to the safety of the people inside the car. ESP, ABS, emergency brake assist, and front, side, and curtain airbags come as standard. 
A further feature of the Grand Scenic is the Vizio system, which includes a lane departure sensor and the ability to automatically switch to full beam headlights when necessary. Other features in the range include hill start assist and a parking assist system featuring a reversing camera. Renault has succeeded in improving its top-selling vehicle with a few careful tweaks, including a facelift, high-quality features and cutting-edge engines. As a result, the future for this popular car looks extremely positive.